the Otakel A1. Let's check it out. When it comes to a handheld axe, this has traditionally been with campers, hunters, outdoorsmen. During the American Revolution, the tomahawk was the preferred weapon of choice. It was a favorite among the colonists because it was great for close combat. There's been a big revival with tomahawks, axes, hatchets. These are very useful tools in the field. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Otakel A1. And this is from O-Knife but it is a very versatile tomahawk, hatchet, small hand axe, but it has a lot of great features. And honestly, it's been a while since I've done a hatchet review. And they also have the Mini, which really is excellent for more detailed work. Now we got the Otakel A1 and A1 Mini from Obi, and there is a 10% Such discount with the link down below in the description. All right guys, this is a treat for me, I love hatchets, I love small hand axes, I love tomahawks. To me, this is really a combination of all of those. Uh, this is again the Otakel A1. Uh, this is the Mini. There's a multitude of uses for tomahawks or axes in the field, self-defense, food prep. I mean, there's a ton of different things you can do with these type tools. So this is really a multifunctional hatchet. Uh, we've got G10 grips, very nice, it's in the green. It's got some nice texturing to it. Uh, you do have three screws that hold this on. And of course, you can see that it is full tank, which is honestly a prerequisite for carrying something out into the woods. We also have a hammer, which is pretty neat. Uh, it looks more like a tenderizing hammer, but you can use this uh, for different purposes, driving stakes, putting in nails for that matter, or putting in pegs. And it's actually attached to the head. Now, this does have kind of a stone wash finish to it, which I really like. Uh, it's funny, on the Mini, it's not as stone washed. It's more of a Cerakote type finish. But we have this really large surface for the blade. And I'll tell you right now, it's really sharp. Uh, and then also here we have an upper area right here that kind of lends itself more to a self-defense option or even a throwing axe. We've got a hole right here. And really this allows you to get your thumb down in here to be able to do task and strip bark or even make tinder. And so it gives you a little more controllability because this is a fairly large tool and it's going to be really good for processing some wood and cutting some limbs uh, when we have the smaller one which is a little bit more toward your delicate work and more close in uh, it gives you a lot of different areas again the the beard kind of comes down and allows you to get your hand up here where you can use it for a number of different purposes that high shine is really nice and then here at the end, we have a lanyard hole. Uh, what I really like though about the big boy is we have a nail puller, but we also have a pry bar. And to me, I really like to have a good pry bar. In fact, I keep pry bars in my pack. This to me would be a better replacement because we have that option, but we also have this large head, which <laughs> again, you can get close up again for more delicate work, super close, or you can get it out here where you can really do some chopping. And we're going to again be testing all that out. Now this is made from 50CR15 MOV stainless steel, which is a good basic stainless steel, good for tools. It's not high end, but you know, when we're going to look at the price, it, it's reflected in the quality of the steel. Very well done Kydex sheath and has the leather straps. You just snap on and the hatchet just kind of goes in from the back and it hooks into the front. And then you have a place here for the hammer part. And then just strap it in. Uh, I really like this sheath. Uh, you do have some lashing points and you do have grommets, but also we have a tech lock style 
uh, belt loop at the back, which this is great because you can put this on without taking your belt on and off, and these lock down really well. Of course, this can be attached in multiple ways, but unsnap, bring it down. I mean, it's very quick to deploy. Closer, just rock it down, and then it comes right out. Now, I like to get the straps out of the way when I'm returning it. So I want to get it down and get it at an angle, but lift it up before you get to this area that fits the hammer. So we're going to bring it over, snap it, snap it, good and secure. Now the A1 is 13 inches in length. It's about 5 inches from the front to the back, and you do have quite a bit of cutting surface right here. It weighs 25.19 ounces, so it's fairly heavy, but again, you want some heft to it to be able to really cut because you want the tool to be doing the work for you, not just you swinging it. The Mini is just under 10 inches at 9.92 inches, and it's about 16 ounces, and that's without the sheath. But again, we've got this little choil right here where we're able to really get some good cutting, and we can bring it back if we want to get more of a full swing, and then again, get it down here where we can really do some detailed work. And even here, you can get that point to be able to use it. And the finish seems to be a little more fine than the original, which has kind of a stone wash finish to it. The head, I'm not sure what metal, if it's the same, I doubt it, but this is just a nice addition, you know, especially for building fences, doing things like that. I know we used to have a, a hatchet that was a fence building hatchet, and it had the hammer on the end, and it just gave it a lot of functioning. And it also comes with a just a touch smaller sheath that works in the same way. Now let's go ahead and do the basic test. <laughs> Guys, this is really sharp right out of the box. Before you start prying, you probably want to put your sheath on. Obviously. You can cut your hand on that really sharp tip. Also with the sheet, the hammer sticks out, so you can actually use the hammer. Well, the Otakol A1 makes short work of getting together some kindling. I mean, you can cut large limbs. We cut a small tree down. Um, it's very capable. Of course, pulling nails and prying, I mean, that's something that's really good. It gives you enough leverage, especially with the big one. But I found that the small one was good for more delicate tasks. Could I get it with the big one? I think probably, but this is a smaller size and it fits in your pack a little better. I really like the handles. There were no real hot spots. Uh, one thing is when I bring it up here to the front, sometimes, you know, these are edges right here and they can wear on you a little bit, especially if your hand slips. But still, I was able to get a good thumb behind here and even push and I was able to do a lot that way if I needed to get more delicate work. One of the things about building a fire is the tinder and getting the right tinder, getting it to where you can light it, where it'll burn. I mean, that is the critical part of building a fire. You can put a lighter <laughs> to wood and unless you've got the right combination, it's very difficult. Uh, this makes it really simple. G10 scales are in OD green, but it also comes in a coyote color brown and then also an orange color. I like orange because if it gets dropped, you can find it a lot easier. Uh, and for regular camping, I like that color, I like that high-vis color. Uh, for more of a tactical self-defense option, I like the green or the coyote brown. I mean, these are both excellent choppers, uh, great for feathering. You can get detail in there, and you can produce fire tender, get your fire started. Of course, it's a bark stripper. Hammering, and hammering can be with tent stakes, it can be with wood pegs, it can be with nails. It gives you a lot of different options, or it can just be as an impact tool to use it for different purposes, and again, for self-defense. Nail puller, pry bar, love that feature. And if you're really in a bind, this makes a great food prep item. I mean, you can actually chop up vegetables, produce meat, you can do a lot of things. Because of the size of this blade, it doesn't have a very short edge to it. It gives you enough edge to be able to really use it, and guys, again, these are super sharp right out of the box. And plus, the sheaths, very well done. So the price on the A1 Mini is $64.99. Price on their big brother, the A1, is $79.99. They do run sales and specials, and so a lot of times you can get these actually for even less. To me, this makes an excellent option for the great outdoors. We were using the Olight Audience to give us some light. If you want light, this thing will do it. 
only that got different color tints this thing is the beast so guys the otakle a1 and a1 mini two excellent tools to be able to carry into the field for a number of different reasons and i love the versatility of the otakle and definitely just the quality and again you get a 10 percent discount using suit 00 with the link down below in the description and we want to give a big thank you to obi for sending the otakles so we can tackle some problems <laughs> <laughs> be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Thank. Now we really appreciate Obi for sending. And we got the Otakle A1. <laughs> and we have leather straps here. Are they leather? Now one of. Okay. 